going on going on yeah i know i ain't dropped in a minute but this video is pretty much about the lantern school it's a lot of lanterns out there as you can see you know what i'm saying a lot of dc universe footage i get this guy garden of the green lanterns this brother wrath or the blue lanterns it's a whole lot of lanterns and i didn't even know that it was so many cores like there's the ancient indigo or uh, lantern and Kara Ferris from the pink lanterns and there goes another one or uh, there's indigo once again with the pink lantern and uh it's, it's interesting how they got the uh black lantern corpse like i think the black lantern corpse is probably one of the strongest claws of course they get because the u.s they actually bring people from the dead like people who were once great kind of like a uh animation thing like if you want to use a naruto sense you can pretty much because that's pretty much what's going on but um yeah i was actually playing i actually been interested in the uh green lantern course and all the other lantern course for a while but until i started playing dc universe online i really didn't know it was that many cores out there i mean you got the you got the green lantern course you got the blue and of course, which uh, green stands for will, blue stands for hope. I think you got the pink lanterns. I think they stand for um for I think compassion. I think that's what it is. And you got the yellow lantern, of course, the fierce and escrow and them. Um, red lanterns, which is my favorite. Um, some of the green lanterns actually got converted to red, which stands for rage. Like me personally, if I think I was be to become a uh, lantern, I think based off my personality it would be rage because i'm a rageable person so i think i end up in the rage category but um you have let's see we got the orange i think the orange stands for um i don't know i forgot what the orange one mean uh you got the white lanterns i think they like the ancients or something like that which i just showed you how one of the ancients you had black lanterns which of course are the dead lanterns you have um the yeah i think there's all of the cores that i know about so there's a lot of interesting um uh, lanterns that like kyle reiner like he is actually a green lantern and he ended up becoming getting a blue power ring or becoming a blue lantern as well some lanterns can control both rings depending on who the wielder chooses so kyle reiner ended up having green and blue and uh, Guy Gardner, he ends up having the uh, power of will, the green one, and the red one. So that was an interesting combination to me. And um, far as that, you know, I'm the only people I know that has like two rings. I think, um, of course, you got the, the first original lantern, which he's the green one. He actually, I think he can actually walk with the power battery with him to uh, have unlimited supplier energy. So that's what i think about that um but yeah as you can see here in this dc universe video um i was fighting some of the black learners i had to go rescue Hal jordan that was trying to stop the black learners from taking over they was actually um killing green learners and yellow learners so sinestro and Hal jordan ended up joining forces which I think in order for them to win that fight, actually, the Blue Lanterns, they were helping because, like, if you actually go to the hideout, you see Blue Lanterns and Green Lanterns. But the Sinestro actually lends a hand as well, but you don't see them because Sinestro, they kind of, like, you know, cut off from them. They like, they don't really like the Green Lantern, of course, or whatever, because, you know, they've been at war with them for quite a while. You know, Sinestro being a Green Lantern at first, he ends up converting to the Yellow because he... He didn't agree with some of the things that was going on in the Green Line of course, so he ends up having the power of fear, using fear to their advantage, starting their core or whatever. So a lot of interesting oh um a lot of interesting liners out there, you know. There was actually this one chick I was reading up on, she the youngest of the Green Line of Corps, because her dad I think her dad was once a part of the Green Line of Corps and she and he ends up um passing away i believe and she ended up getting the um getting his power ring the, the ring ended up choosing her so like i said some interesting stuff man i um i'm actually about to get into the uh blackest night comic so i can read and see what's actually going on because superman and some more villains actually go to fight the black lanterns and try to stop everything that's going on 
But I think in our quest, some of them end up failing and some of them end up getting converted. I don't know if some of them die or get killed, but or they end up fighting copies of themselves. I think even Superboy gets added to the mix. So I think there's a lot going on with that. I was like, I think the most shock core that I was shocked about was the Pink Lantern core actually having like a core of women. You know what I'm saying? Like, who would have thought? Like, because I didn't see any man, men wearing pink and a green and a, uh, being in a pink suit for the, uh, the power of compassion. So I just can't, I just can't see a man being a part of the Pink Lantern course or whatever. But I know, like, things had got so rough on this mission that you actually see me playing that even some of the ancient White Lanterns actually had to um, get involved in what was going on. Like, it's actually Lanterns from all over. You got Lanterns from different planets, different universes, all of that. They actually joins in and for the fight. So, but I me mean, personally, I think if they wanted to, I'd say that's enough, but... A fight that I would want to see is the red learners go against the black learners. Even even though I think the red ones would come up short, I think the red probably is one of the most powerful ones that they have. So, I mean, you got to think about it. What's stronger than rage? You know what I'm saying? Rage is definitely powerful. If anybody feel rage, they feel consumed. You know what I'm saying? So... In my opinion, I'm actually going to upload another video where I was actually doing an alert mission and I was playing with Robin, actually going against some of the um, some of the uh, landers that end up escaping or whatnot. You actually see the manhunters and all of them actually come in that you fight from all the different sectors or whatnot. So I'm actually do some more research on the black landers, try to get y'all some more information about them to my ability or I'm going to read on them and see what else I can find because I do have the DC Universe um, encyclopedia where it describes every single group, nation, character, all of it, where the character or, or origin started from, all of it. I'm actually going to get into that and read it so I can, on my next video, I'm going to try to give y'all a little more insight on where some of these, you know, unique characters came from and what was their purpose behind the Lantern Corpse. No matter which ones it is, I'm going to try to, because I'm pretty sure once I find um, the Black Lanterns, all the other Lanterns just going to come in place. Like once I um, read those two books, I have, I actually have two volumes right now, but I'm going to try to get the whole series and read it. But I actually have the encyclopedia and I'm going to try to, you know, Find them in the encyclopedia and see am I, if I can find a page that shows actually every liner that was, you know, a part of the core. So we actually going to see how that plays out. But um, I think it's a lot of uh, liners that end up dying as well. As you can see there on the screen, you see green liners fighting uh, black liners, and they're pretty much outnumbered, and they ended up being powerless against them. So... As my character Tech Nine, I'm um, helping out taking them down. As I can say, I'm, I'm um, DC Universe has come a long way as far as um, giving us what we want, and you know, providing us with all this content. I you think the server will be down by now? People still enjoy playing this game like it's a brand new game that just been released or something like that. And I'm so grateful that they actually decided to keep it going because I definitely don't want what happened to the Marvel uh, servers that happened to DC servers. Like, as I enjoy playing the game a lot, and I enjoy playing Marvel a lot, and they actually closed those servers down, Marvel Heroes Omega, and I hate that happening because I was actually really getting into the game, actually unlocking more characters. I think the last character I ended up using was Squirrel Girl on there, but... um, I wish you... I, of course, you can still play it on PC, but... I actually want I was hoping it came to consoles and finally it came to consoles and what are the odds they shut the servers down so that pretty much sucked so I know some of y'all out there probably feel the same way I hated that so like I said DC though I'm I've been playing this game since PS3 I got the game when it first released I knew it was gonna be a big project and it's still continuing to grow because you look at DC, they're doing a lot of a lot of things as far as with TV and movies or not. I mean, you got um the Justice League, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, you know, Superman, Green Lantern movie, all of it. 
um, played a part in D.C. So you just got to, you know what I'm saying, we just got to keep pushing. You know, and the same thing with the shows, you know, you got Teen Titans right there. Um, Swat, um, Swamp Thing was actually going to get released. Um, I think they're still waiting on that, but. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? We actually had, um, what is the DC called? Heroes of Tomorrow as well. We got that. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of content to look forward to that's in the future, I think. And I think actually they're about to come out with another Wonder Woman movie, if I'm not mistaken, but. You know, yeah, we can stay tuned for what's coming next. I'm going to make sure I hit y'all on my next video and give y'all some more info on what's going on. Black Lanterns, man, what can I say? Them people, they unstoppable right now, but I make sure I upload the uh, the next video for y'all and give y'all some more insight on what's going on. Peace.